Okay. Hey there, friendlies. Got something in the mail, so let's open it up, okay? Okay, so address is all covered up. Sender's address as well. How do I open this? Now, you guys who saw my gift guide video back in December will recognize this if I can get it open. It's okay, it's not fragile. Okay, now, let's pop this open, shall we? I don't want to get too gung-ho at the knife here. So I will cut with care, gingerly, might I even uh, go so far as to say. Hmm? Cutting away from myself, as I've been teaching Camille to do. Well, not holding it like, mm -mm. but safety first, right? Well, it is definitely well packed. Okay. I just re realized, I'm not sure if there's a note. No, no, no. That's okay. I don't need no stinking note. There we go. Let's see here. Okay, okay. Ugh, take that. Yeah, foul beast. We'll get to it. But I think you probably already know. Ah, oh, unboxings take so much time. Oh yeah. If you saw my gift guide, which I know you did, you guys will remember that there was a buck saw in there. Made by Mr. Jody Funk. Of Maple Made Buck Saws. He said he was including two different uh, paracords, the usual kind of orange or red and uh, a coyote option that he's thinking of offering. I spent money on this. By the way, this is not a paid endorsement. I did not receive this off for free. Okay. I don't actually know how to put one of these together. I've never had a, a wooden buck saw before. It's very tight. Uh, did I get it on? Yes, yes, I got it on. Okay, good. Okay, whoo, that was tight. We take this and we do a little bit of the flippy flappy action. Nah. We go this way and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because we don't want to cover up that beautiful tree laser engraving. There we go. 
See that tree? Come on, right? Take a looky that. Made of walnut. It is, I believe, a 21 inch blade. 21 inch blade. It's walnut, it's got classy brass hardware. It's got this really nice laser engraved tree on the toggle. And it comes with a paracord string. It comes with a Baco style green wood blade. I don't know if it's actually Baco or not. So let's, let's clear some of this away here. Knock everything over, shall we? So, what I received was the saw, obviously, with the blade and cable, toggle, duh, it's a saw. Um, Jody also included an extra coyote paracord. Um, it's in a different weight. Uh, he just uh, he invited me to, to test it and see which one I liked better. I think he might be weighing his options for the cables, but for the strings, I'm not sure. Uh, this one is walnut. He's selling walnut uh, and I think ash or hickory at 150 Canadian. Um, he's looking at some other options as well, but I'm not going to blow his thunder. Now, uh, in my gift guide, I had said that his Instagram handle was funk.jody, but he's since changed that to Maple Made Buck Sauce. Um, I'll put a link in the show notes just because if you guys want some of this magic you can then get it yourself as well um, and look for a first impressions review video and then a full-on review later in the season but right now I'm pretty glad to have it it's my first unboxing of 2019 and it's my first foldable wooden buck saw it even still smells brand new. Nice. So, that's all she wrote for tonight. As I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please get the conversation started down below. This week, what I'd like to know, do you have something like this? You looking to get something like this? Do you prefer metal saws? The uh, Destrude style or the Agawa? Or are you stuck with, a, with, with like a Silky or the little Baco Laplander and you're good with that? Aside from that, please share the video. It helps me more than you think. Aside from that, if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. If you are subscribed, then hit that little bell and leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.